Well, before we get into what uh, dilations, how they work on a coordinate plane, we should probably figure out what they are. So, a dilation changes the size of a figure by a scale factor. Write that down. What does that mean? Well, if you have a figure, and when you like to change the size of it by a certain scale, maybe two times as large, three times as large, or perhaps you'd like to make it smaller, you can do either or, uh, that's what we're talking about, is we're going to enlarge it or make it smaller. I usually think of eyeballs, you know, my pupils are dilated, which I don't know if that's ever happened to me, probably, when I went out and, you know, did something, but uh, to enlarge the pupil, that is called dilated. I don't know how much there, but that's what I think of when I hear the word dilation. For us, we're going to be doing figures. And I've got myself a square. I've got my ruler. It tells me it's a the length of one side of the square is 6 inches. If I want to dilate that square so it is uh, by a scale factor of 0.5 or a half, so I'll write down my scale factor. We're going to reduce the size by a half or 0.5. I just need to make the square half a bit, half as big as what it was. So I take the thing and I shrink it down to three inches. It was six, now it's three. That square has been dilated. But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to do stuff on the coordinate plane. I don't need a ruler anymore. So I got a little square. It's a two by two square, as you can see. And I'm going to dilate that square by a scale factor of two, which means I'm going to double it take everything times 2. Okay, So now everything is 4 on that square. So we have the original in red and we need to plot the coordinates and figure out what happened here. So with the red one we'll call that point A. Let's map the coordinates of A. Oops, hold on. Sorry. A is at 2, 2. 2, 2. So where is B? No, actually we're not going to call it B. So we're going to call it A prime. A prime, or the image of A after it was dilated, is at 4, 4. Now check this out. It was at 2, 2, and it's a scale factor of 2, and it ended up at 4, 4. So all we have to do to go from one point to the other on the coordinate plane is take each x and y times the scale factor, okay, times 2. So other coordinates on this square, we have B, we'll call that B right there, and it was at 0, 2. I take both X and Y times the scaling factor of 2 to get B prime, and B prime will be 0 times 2, which is still 0, and 2 times 2, which is 4. I'm not overly worried about dilations. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just take both x and y times the scaling factor when you're doing your IXL. That's why I put down, you may choose when you want to stop. Do a few, do a couple, get them right, and then get the idea of we're multiplying or dividing. Actually, let's just stick with the multiplication, even if it's a decimal, so we get used to doing it the same way. Okay. A dilation enlarges or shrinks a figure.